Hello everyone, this session regarding to discuss about the introduction of deep learning architecture. The deep learning architecture is having inbuilt automatic multi-stage feature learning layers which are learning rich hierarchical representation of given input image. These hierarchical representations are called features of given images. Okay, Here the deep learning neural network is having more than one hidden layer between the input layer and output layer. Here we are having the input layer representation with black color circles. So this all neurons belongs to all all dots all circles are belonging to input layer then we are having the neurons in uh, layers here these neurons belonging to the hidden layer 1 these neurons are belonging to hidden layer 2 these neurons are belonging to hidden layer 3 these neurons are belonging to hidden layer 4 this architecture is having four number of hidden layers and finally we are having output layer which is depending on the uh, output uh, out, uh, output of the problem statement either binary class output or multi class output so based upon that we will add number of neurons in the output layer here each and every hidden layer is learning the features from given input image here uh, the hidden layers between input and output performs feature identification and which are processing in series of stages like the human brain. Many uh, deep learning algorithms are available which are learning the weights of the given uh, deep learning network with more hidden layers. Here the connection each and every connection between the two layers is associated with weights. So weights are using to uh, control the flow of information between two layers in the deep learning network. The example for a deep learning network is given here. When we are passing the input into the uh, uh, architecture, this input image is converted into uh, vectors. So here, for, suppose if we are uh, assuming the given image is 4 by 4 pixels then this 4 by 4 pixels image is converted into uh, the vector inputs so here our la our uh, deep learning network is having the sequence of uh, inputs in uh, arrangement of uh, x1 x2 etc x16 for the input image 4 by 4 pixels so here this matrix form of image is transforming into vector inputs so this uh, inputs are represented in the vector template so then these inputs are given in the input layer the hidden layer next is connected with the input layer so now input layer is this one then hidden layer one is given here all the inputs are connected to the hidden layer here the hidden layer one is learning low level features from this image then this all neurons are connected to the next hidden layer Two, here this second hidden layer is learning the next level of features which are extracted from the previous layer. So here the hidden layer 2 is learning the medium level features from the extracted low level features. So here the difference between these two hidden layers is it is learning um, little bit uh, in-depth uh, information for, of the given input image. Then this information is passing into the next hidden layer. So this third hidden layer is learning more in-depth features of given um, extracted features in the previous layer. 
layer so we can keep on extend until any number of hidden layers n so here we have used only three number of hidden layers after that extracted information is given to the classifier in the um, last layer so the trainable classifier is available in the uh, network that is classifying the information which are extracted until the hidden layer 3 so based upon the extracted information which is classifying the given images either outdoor or indoor for assumption so here the first uh, hidden layer is extracting the information like this for one of the image you look at that here the uh, in, uh, da data is inform uh, extracted like uh, the uh, edges vertical diagonal and horizontal edges and next level of information more in depth uh, information of, of this given image like uh, the color and edges and curves of the given input image then the third level high level features are here the the uh, colors also added and more minute in-depth information the texture you look at that here different textures also here um, extracted from the given image so finally we are getting different output of each and every image that are from the extracted pa patterns which is classifying either it is a fan or indoor or outdoor like that which is classifying for example here when you are passing the information uh, image uh, into the uh, deep learning architecture uh, the pixels as i told you the image he is having the pixel intensity that pixels are given into the uh, he hidden layer 1 so hidden layer 1 is for assume which is extracting the edges from each and every image then hidden layer 2 is extracting the texture of each and every uh, uh, features which are construct uh, which are extracted from the previous layer then for it is extracting motif of the given image finally which is identifying what is the part of that image the classification is done at final stage then if it if it is the input uh, text for the text which is uh, identifying the i mean uh, character is giving into the input uh, input layer then which is uh, identifying the word then group of words then class finally which is forming the sentence on the final stage which is framing a story from each and every character so these are all some examples for deep learning architectures the deep learning can be processed by using these different steps of process okay here which is learning the information automatically without predefined knowledge explicitly coded by the programmers so that is one of the advantage of deep learning architecture uh, the first step is the user should understand the problem statement before uh, starting to apply the deep learning architecture then they should know the data uh, uh, knowledge about the data if either the data is um, uh, having noise or not having the noise and what is the application of that given data set so is it suitable or uh, the uh, number of uh, uh, samples are sufficient number of features are sufficient so we should identify the data set with the record information then finally we can select uh, the suitable deep learning algorithm um, uh, from available uh, many algorithms then we can train the um, model by using selected deep learning algorithm finally we can test that model here each layer is representing deeper level of knowledge that means the uh, hidden layers are extracting um, the rich information of given image so that is called deeper level knowledge the training is occurring in two different phases 
for the neural uh, network the first phase is called forward propagation here the, uh, we will apply non linear transformation of the given input and it is creating statistical model as a output so here we will uh, pass the pass the data in uh, forward propagation forward propagation then here each and every neuron will have the transformation function and the activation function so based upon that it will calculate the uh, output for giving each and every input of the given layers so here based upon that we will apply the forward propagation in the forward propagation at the end we will get the output y dash predicted output then from the predicted output we have to calculate the cost of each and every input so after calculating the cost we we might know is it having more error or less error if there is more error available then we can go for back propagation that is called second phase to improve the model by using mathematical logics that is derivative partial derivation derivation or differential partial differentiation the neural network repeats this two phases hundreds of time or thousands of time which is called number of iterations until our uh, expected output is reaching the expected output is reaching is called convergence so once your process is reached the convergence then we can get uh, good accuracy for the uh, for the given uh, input images so here the convergence is called when you are having the more error that is cost when you are having the more error then uh, uh, you have to decrease that error step by step at one of the stage when you are increasing the number of iterations 1 2 3 etc so at some iteration at some of the iteration you can reach the error close to the zero so this is the convergence point you can stop the algorithm suppose if you are not close to the zero then uh, when you are getting the cost value continuously for three iteration same cost value for uh, con uh, all three iterations continuously then you can stop the algorithm so here this process is called convergence point the deep learning is applied for so many uh, domains social network filtering fraud detection uh, speech recognition image recognition audio recognition computer vision medical image processing bioinformatics so in the real time we can apply for the autonomous car mobile phones and search engine televisions etc and there is so many type of algorithms in deep learning convolutional neural network uh, recurrent neural network lstms uh, generative adversarial networks and uh, radial basis function networks multi layer perceptrons self organizing maps dbns uh, restricted boltzmann machines auto encoders and etc so you, we can select suitable algorithm based upon the given problem statement to the user thanks for watching